Hi, my name's Owen and I'm a Key Stage 1 and 2 curricular coach for Ulster GA. Welcome back to video number 2. Today's new skill we're going to be teaching you is hand passing, okay? I'm going to be taking you through a wee warm up, two wee drills, and I'm going to hand you to my colleague Kevin, and Kevin's going to take you through some fun games and a good cool down, okay? So we'll start off nice and easy, okay? So we'll start off doing lunges. So just stretch, okay? Keep the back straight, okay? Don't let the back knee touch the ground. Move forward. Okay, hold it for about three or four seconds. Move forward, like so. Move forward, like so. Okay. We're gonna do lateral lunges now, okay? So, to the side. Hold it for three or four seconds. Again. Hold it to the side, hold it for three or four seconds. To the side again. Hold it for three or four seconds. Make sure to get a nice good stretch on our hammies. Okay. Now we're gonna warm up our shoulders, okay? So all together we're gonna count to ten in Irish. So we're gonna count to ten in Irish, which is he and do tree kahar kuik she shot at me jay. If you could count with me, fantastic. So here we go. Hien, do, tri, kahar, kui, she, shot, at, me, jay. Okay, now we're gonna go backwards. Hien, do, tri, kahar, kui, she, shot, at, me, jay. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our skill, okay? So we're gonna be looking at the hand pass, okay? And first of all, what we're going to do is I'm going to demonstrate what the hand pass is. Okay, so hand pass is this. It's a way of moving the ball in Gaelic football. Okay. And you can use the other hand. And it's what makes the sport very quick. Okay. So... What we do first, okay, we hold the ball in our non writing hand, okay, which is my left hand. I put my non kicking foot forward, which is my left foot, okay, my writing hand's free. Underneath the ball, make sure you point in your shoulder to where you want the ball to go, okay, and then with the writing hand, hand underneath and tap. Practice this about maybe do this five times. And then swap it around with your other hand then, okay? So same again, swap it around with your other hand. So you're putting now the ball on your right hand and you're gonna use your non-right hand. Okay, perfect. So now, as you can see, we're gonna put this in the, a wee drill, okay? So I've laid out markers here and I've used post-its you can use markers, anything, paper, like I use, post-its, whatever you want, anything that you can put on the wall, okay? Um, I've done three, two shapes here, okay? And I'm gonna tell you them now, the Irish for them, okay? So, this is gonna be a square, which is a Kjarnog, okay? And we got a Trenton, okay? So many sides does a Kjarnog have, we looked at our counting in Irish, which is a Kjarnog, which is four, okay. Trenton has three, okay. My job now is I'm gonna try to hit each marker, okay, by hand passing, okay. Here we go. Here. Two. Three. Kahar. Do it from different angles, so I might go for this one now. Ian. Two. Three. Okay, move over to the Trenton now, okay, same again, Pian, try to hit the post-it, Do, Tree, again, Pian, Do, Tree, and if you can hit your marker, fantastic, okay, try it with your left hand then, okay, try to see if you can do it with your left hand then, okay. Next we draw, we're going to move on then now, okay, as we're going to be using the bun, okay. And I've used these poles as markers, okay? And I'm gonna see how many balls 
how many footballs I can get on the each that did a bin, okay? So here we go. So same again, remember? Eyes on the ball, ball on the non right in hand, right in hand underneath, shoulder point on where you want to go, and here we go. Ian. Okay, so you can make that as long or as short as you want. I got two out of three. Okay, Dom has three. If you can beat my score, fantastic. Okay, I'm now gonna hand you over to my colleague Kevin. Okay, Kevin's gonna take you through some fantastic games and a cool down. Here you go, Kevin. Great pass, Owen. Lovely chest pass. Hi everyone, Kevin Curran, Ultra GA. I'm working with Owen today on hand passing. I'm going to take you through a couple of games that are really good, very fun games for hand passing. We'll bring in some themes as well, which I'll explain. Um, just before we get into our games, I just want to make sure we're using the correct technique. So, eyes on the ball. Hands. One hand is holding the ball, belly button height. The other hand can either be open or closed. Feet, one foot in front of the other, knees bent. So we look at the ball and fist. Look at the ball, fist. Now, first little game is called, I better ask you a question, how many counties are there in Ulster? Correct, there's nine counties in Ulster. This little game is called the Nine Counties Fist Pass Challenge. And this is how it works. I have a wall, I have a ball, I do a first fist, and I have to pick Antrim. Antrim play in yellow, I go to Antrim. Back to the wall. Where are we going now? Down. Down play in red. Touch the red. Maybe get a little bounce. Another fist pass. Where am I going now? Arma! Where's Arma? Arma's orange. Hit the orange. Coming back. Tyrone. Tyrone play in red. We'll go to Tyrone. Let's get another one. Monaghan. Maybe play in white. A little bit of red to play in white. One more. Calvin! Where's Calvin? Calvin playing blue. Now I've played a little trick on you. I've only done six counties. Your job when you're doing this is to uh, find out the other three counties that I haven't done that I've left out. So your job and your challenge for this game is how quickly can you visit the nine counties and do nine fist passes against the wall? Maybe race against your brother or your sister. Good little game. Now if we come over here. <coughs> We've set up, the cameraman comes a bit closer. I have a bin in the middle. The second game is called Compass Fist Pass. I have set up north with the yellow cone, south, east and west. My cameraman is going to shout, I start in the middle, he shouts a compass direction, I have to get the ball, try and fist it into the bin. So Ashley, give me the first one. North. North! So I go to north, pick up the ball. Oh, I missed! Back to the middle. Next one. East. East! Where's east? East side this way. Pop it in. Oh, I missed! Back to the middle. West. West is over here, I have to get one. I look up. Yeah! Oh! Hit the crossbar! Last one! Where are we going? South. South! Pick up the ball. I got one out of four. Not good. But that little game is a fist passing game, hand passing game, bringing in our knowledge of our compass, north, south, east and west. The challenge could be have a mum, dad, brother, sister challenge you to pick up different balls at different positions. How many can you get in the bin? Okay, so this is our third game. Uh, it's called Shapes Fist Pass. And if the cameraman turns around, I have a very simple setup. We have a set of ladders, a skipping rope, and hanging off the skipping rope is a hula hoop. And I'm, oh, each score in the hula hoop is worth seven points. So we're gonna work at our seven times table. Ashin's gonna shout me out a shape. I do a shape, and I try to get a fist pass in to the hula. Oh, she gave me the first shape. Square. Square. So I'll bounce the square. One, 
two, three, four. And I get a first class. Yes, one. Give me another shape. Rectangle. A rectangle. Long side. I'll go tiptoe. Short side. Long side. Short side. Can I get a second one? Oh, missed. Didn't get it. Give me another shape. Triangle. A triangle. So we'll price to one side. Two side. Three side. Look at the shape. Oh, I missed. Give me one more shape. Hexagon. A hexagon. Six. The hexagon is six sides. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to make this one. Yes. So we got two out of four. How many is that? If they're worth seven points, how many is that? You're right. Seven twos are 14. So boys and girls, those are our three games. Over there, we had our nine counties challenge. Then we moved up and we did the compass fist passing game. And then we came to the shapes fist passing game. If you want to progress the games, you could simply use your other fists. So for example, if I did a triangle, and over to the side, this time I use my opposite hand or my weak hand. Oh! You get the idea. So, we'll finish off with a quick cool down because we're working pretty hard. So we'll take the ball and I want you to raise the ball up above your head and onto your toes. Get right onto your toes. Hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Then put your feet shoulder width apart. And I want you to bring the ball under your legs and hold it for three. One, two, three. Up to the middle. Set the ball on your left foot for three seconds. One, two, three. Up to the middle. Over to your right foot. One, two, three. And we'll finish off with 10 high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So boys and girls, that's it from Owen and myself today from Ulster GA. Owen's taken us through the technique of hand passing and some drills, and I've looked at some games. We need you now, boys and girls, to get out the back garden, get the bins out, get the hula hoops out, get the dog out, and practice your hand passing.